Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Train Sim World 3. Yes, it's finally out. We are on the Cross City Line. This, uh, this, yeah, we're going to be just taking a look at it and seeing how uh, how good it is. I've seen on Steam that there's mixed reviews, so I'm, uh, I'm intrigued to see how we get on. This DLC will cost you $29.99. It's a little bit more expensive than previous DLCs. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a cause of contention is that, but we'll see, like I say, if it's worth it. Right, let's get it into, uh, oh hang on, it's got everything isolated as well, doesn't it? Hang on, uh, right, regen braking on, door key, coach lighting, right, where's my, where's my circuit breakers? I want to, uh, I want to have the, the actual good stuff on. There we go, turn that on. And it actually sounds pretty good, to be perfectly honest with you. There we go, we'll unisolate that, and that's just isolated. I, oh, that's the PIS, automatic PIS maybe? Reset the DR8. There we go. And uh, set the reverse to forward. Yep. And unlock the doors. Now, I don't understand why we're doing this, because we should really have a guard. These services are all operated with a guard. I think up until now they've kind of got away with it. You know, with like the 166, the 377, the 387, all driver-only operated trains. But these aren't. These are, you know, hang on, unlock doors. Uh, are we, are we just, do the buttons not work? Oh, hang on. What, what's happening? Why are we jumping in and out of the train? Okay, so, I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, the sounds are pretty good so far. The door sounds are excellent. The model's a lot better uh, than what we have previously used to. And there's the, the odd little three, two, three noise. I mean, I cannot pretend for one second to be an expert on this, uh, this route, this train even. I've travelled on a few of them with Northern. But, uh, but yeah, I've not actually travelled on uh, a lot of West Midlands once. We went down to Cadbury's World, because, you know, that's awesome. Oh, hang on. I've got out of the... There we go. Where's my buzzer? I guess we'll just have to do it ourselves, won't we? Now, what are these sounds like? significantly better. Wow, that is a lot better than uh, than what we're previously used to. If you remember when the Cross City Line came out for uh, for Train Sim Classic, yeah, that that is a hell of a lot better. Have we got a cab light on? It it doesn't really make a difference whether it's on or not. It seems very bright in here, doesn't it? The the light's not on, no. I quite like the run sounds as well. You you kind of feel like you're moving. Well, you are moving, but you feel very kind of immersed. I don't know if it's just because I've got my headset on and uh, and it, it just feels very... feels like it's, you know, the, there's a lot going on. I, I like that. You get that sensation that you're moving, which is a lot better than a lot of previous DLCs. It does feel that Trains in World, they, they do kind of put a lot more effort into it than Trains in Classic. Oh, hang on, let's have a... We, we need a good screenshot, don't we? You know that we like a screenshot. I don't actually know where we are. Have we just left Redditch? Let's have a look on the old timetable. Uh, schedule. Uh, right, doesn't say. Alva Church, Bank Green, Longbridge. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, so we've just left Redditch down at the bottom. Selly University. And we're going to Birmingham. Right here. I think it's Redditch anyway. I'm, I'm really not too familiar with the, uh, with the route at all. I know that we're in the south. And at, uh, at Bank Green, we're going to join up with the cross-country route, aren't we? Right, there we go. Let's uh, let's full steam ahead. Okay, nice photo. Look at that. Although the problem is, because of the snow, I'm not going to be able to put my nice white text below. I probably won't. Anyway, it's quite dim, isn't it? So we might be able to get away with that. I still think it's really weird that... Uh, that there's a lot of, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of single line, given that this is such a frequent route. So much single line section involved. It's quite nice to drive in the snow, however. I've not driven uh, a lot of trains in world in the snow, but it, uh, well, I've not driven any trains in world, but this is a feature that was added, isn't it? The, the uh, struggling with the wipers. Oh, Ooh, there we go, bit of lag there. 
This is fantastic. I'm really enjoying myself on this so far. Is it worth an extra five quid on top of the usual DLC price? I don't know, to be perfectly honest with you, but it's a damn sight better than I was expecting. I like how the train kind of wobbles around. You, you really get that. You get the sensation of speed. And I like that. Because, I mean, these things do wobble about. Just coast now, because we're about a mile away. Nah, oh, no. Problem is, is because Q is to reset the, uh, the, the AWS. Q is also to uh, reset the, the DSD as well. See? So every time I reset the AWS, because I've used the same key command... I'm going to get a beep, huh? Like that, you see? Yeah, I don't like the way they've done that. I mean, in Trains in Classic, they use E a lot of the time when you've got the Armstrong Powerhouse packs for the DRA and Q for the AWS. But, uh, I mean, E. If I press E. Ah! There we go. <laughs> Stand up and everything starts yelling at you because you've not got your foot on the DSD. Right, Alva Church, so we need to come in at about 25 mile an hour. Oh, is the station before the speedboard? The station is before the speedboard, so we'll, uh, we don't need to worry about the 25. I quite like the shiny plastic as well. You can, you can see, like, hear the reflections. That's... Forget, are we, uh, are we a six car? Yeah, we are. That is a damn sight better. I'm really, really impressed with this. Now we have to go ever so slightly past the platform, don't we? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've not done that, have I? So there's... Oh, no, we all fit on. This was obviously made for six-car trains, wasn't it? I mean, a lot of these places... Yeah, the 323s have been running down here for donkey's years, haven't they? I know there's kind of plans for them to leave and go maybe up to Northern. Uh, I think Northern was kind of what? There we go. We'll put the reverser in neutral while we stop so we don't get the DSD uh, blaring at us. But uh, yeah, there were plans for them to go to Northern when the new stock comes in. I don't know kind of what the uh, what the plans are with that, whether it's still happening. There we go. I'm not giving in to driver only. This is, uh, yeah. It's the same we've got wheel slip, but it's not actually accelerating any slower than what it would do. No, oh, maybe it is accelerating slower. It obviously doesn't have uh, wheel slip protection. We're back onto single line. Bit of 25, there we go, we'll keep it at that. That goes to 40 after this. Just 25 for the junction, then. Well, it's quite a steep up here, here, isn't it? It's quite difficult keeping it at 25. Right, off we go. Let's have a bit of... Do we have a sander? I'll see it. Won't be up there, will it? Doors closed. Sanding, there we go. It's just not yellow. There we go, back into notch one. It's quite a slow section of route, isn't it, really? I mean, the cross city line is just stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, if you like that kind of thing. I'd be interested to see how it is around Birmingham. I've seen a couple of stream, uh, stream shots? screenshots.
A little bit painful keeping it at 40, isn't it? You do feel like you're going quite slow in this section, but then you felt like that on Trains in Classic. Oh, everything went really blue outside for a second, didn't it? And then it went back to kind of that... That warm hue. A lot of random clunking noises coming from behind me as well, which I quite like. Not quite sure what the noise is. Awesome. No, oh, hang on. Slow down. Yeah, there's a 15 bog coming up, John. You're not slowing down. <laughs> Flipping heck. I was too busy taking in the scenery of trees and snow and stuff. It's very Christmassy, isn't it? I know, we shouldn't be mentioning Christmas because it's November. There we go. There's a lot of bits on this route that are absolutely painful. <laughs> Painfully slow. Oh dear, you'd think after all this time they'd have, uh, they'd have done something about this, wouldn't you? I mean, even upgrading it to 25, you could get round here at 25. Of course you could. Oh, quite like that. There we go. Let's have a... That is lovely. Beautiful. We're going really slowly. Oh, look, a bit of AI traffic. That's nice. We'll put our window down so we can hear it. Oh, all the snow's coming in now. Look at that. Hello, colleague. Oh, there's a driver in it, look. We've got the off. Oh, it's a good horn. Just get back from the edge of the platform, please. Where do six cars stop? Oh, here. There we go. We're fully accommodated. Unlock the left-hand side. While well, that's busy doing what he's doing, we'll pop it in neutral and have a little look in here. Hello. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Sure, that's the same man. One of them's just got a hat on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like the PIS. That's very... Uh, it's very northern, isn't it? They have the same type of PIS systems. I mean, I don't like them in real life. I think they're quite hideous, but... Uh, there we go, back into forward. What's this noise when I do that? Off we go! Come on, we can get away without any wheel slip here. Just to 15 miles an hour, of course, and then it's uh, it's slow speed out of the platform. Now, we're joining onto the lines now that you see the cross countries on. I mean, I don't think from what I've read in the reviews that we'll be seeing any cross countries on this today. Uh, but yeah, you get the cross countries that go down towards the southwest of England. Down there, you also get the Hereford services with London Midland. Sorry, London Northwestern Railway. Or is it West Midlands? Yeah, I think the Herefords, like the 170s, they're all West Midlands, aren't they? So uh, yeah, ignore me there. But yeah, you get quite, it's a very busy section on this, which is why I'm a little bit disappointed that they've not included things like Voyagers, Pendolinos. Oh, it's gone blue again, look. And back to, what's cars in that, I wonder? There we go, we're going to get wheel slip, aren't we? Let's see if we can notch three, is that any good? Yep, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I mean, Pendolino's around New Street, you could have, uh, you know, cross-country voyages up and down here, 170s. Yeah, they'd have had to make another model, but they didn't have to make an interior for it. You know, you didn't have to be able to go on it, you didn't have to be able to drive it. Um, if they've got the license for West Midlands, surely they could have included some turbo stars. That would have been quite nice, wouldn't it? You know, it would have been lovely if they'd have done that, because they already had the license in. Maybe cross-country, I get that because then they'd have to go to cross-country and ask for licensing, but they could have just included a plain white Voyager. There's things they could have done to kind of make it busier. Even a, a 166 reskin in 
West Midlands Railway to act as a turbo star, they could have included that as AI traffic. HST cross country reskin. Oh yeah, that'd have been nice, wouldn't it? What have we got here? Single yellow. Let's have a bit of braking then. Let's not slide through. Next stop's Longbridge. Quite a way off yet, but we'll go down to 30. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Very, very slippy out there today. Very icy, I imagine. I wonder what we could be stopped for. I mean, we're on the fast lines, surely. Hang on, we're on the fast lines. Shouldn't we be on the slow lines if we're stopping at Longbridge? I don't know. Is there, is there a crossover? Let's have a look. Contact signaler. Denied. Oh, there we go. Right, we're off. Maybe it was an approach control signal because we're going over to the left. There we go, we'll just... Ah, yeah, because it's gone to 30, so it's probably an approach control signal. Clever! I didn't know they'd incorporated stuff like this in this game. Nope, oh, there's another 323 coming the other way. Is he a 6 car? It looks like he is. Covered in snow. It looks fantastic covered in snow, doesn't it? There we go. The long bridge, a little bit of braking. I don't know quite how far down the platform we're meant to go. Stands to reason that we go quite far down the platform. Is this your six car board here? Yeah, you've you've all gone past the six car board, guys. into neutral and unlock the left hand side doors brilliant oh. Right, get them doors shut. Into forward. Oh, the button keeps pressing in. Yeah. Yeah, the door close button for some reason, when you press door close, it just keeps pressing. How bizarre. Next stop, Northfield. One mile, four minutes, or three and a half minutes even to do it. Oh, there's another. Oh, that's a 66. Oh, okay. Oh, it's nice I've included that, isn't it? Give him a little wave. Again, covered in snow. Ocean Network Express. Oh, I like that. That's ace. Right, where should we start braking for here? About there, you think? Oh, I love that noise, that kind of whistling sound of the brakes. Of the air, that's awesome.
these wheels are going to be positively uh, hexagonal by the time we get uh, it's going to be like 50 pence pieces aren't they by the time we get to Birmingham and Northfield of course the uh, the platform that has platforms in the middle that aren't in use anymore I think is this just before we turn left towards Birmingham a bit of a junction isn't there if I remember rightly You get back behind the line, please. It's very slippy. I think I probably have hit their umbrella there. Looking for a stop board. Difficult to see because of all the passengers. Now ah, we're on, aren't we? There we go. Oh, I like the fact you get a surfaces maybe slippery announcement when it's snowing. That's good. Clearly there is quite a lot of thought that's gone into this and actually I was expecting it to be terrible given my uh, my recent experience with the Leeds to Manchester route but actually, do you know what, I could see myself pootling up and down on this quite often, you know, just, just getting in, going for a little drive. We are going to have to do a full route drive, aren't we, uh, when it's not snowing. Because I think the thing with the snow is, uh, oh wow, we're actually a little bit early here. Oh, well, we could take a little look around, couldn't we? I think the thing with the snow is it can hide a multitude of sins, but actually, it looks pretty decent. You know, there's cars down there. There's, uh, you know... Yes, I would prefer it if... Uh, oh, what's, what's this on the side? Soho LMD, Cross City Line. Oh, right, so we've got a, a named unit there. What's this? Soho LMD, Cross City Line, Blake Street. Right, so we've got Blake Street, and what's this? Is this University? Ah, look at that! Is it the same on both sides, though? That's the question. No, it's not named on this side. Ah, okay. Yeah, I like how they've done the, the with the wheelchair and bike space here on these. And there you go, there's, uh, there's the... I wonder if these work. Can I, can I press you? No? And it's a refurbished unit, of course, with the uh, the Universal Toilet. Heck, there's not a lot of space if you're a hefty person to get around there, is there? Are you not getting on, guys? This is like the only train that comes down here. What I like as well is we've got no tail lights on in the middle here, no headlights, that's good. Nice coupler, very well uh, modelled there, lovely. Pantograph, let's not touch that. Yeah, overall, so far I'm fairly impressed. Again, I'm not quite sure whether it's worth the uh, the the five pound increase, but again, it's it's not bad. It really isn't bad. I think they seem to put so much well, they seem to put so much more effort into Trains in World DLCs. I mean, the last couple of Trains in World DLCs I've got have been fantastic. I've been really impressed with them. It's just missing that guard feature. I mean, we had that in Trenton Classic, so I don't see a reason that we can't have that in this. You know, these trains run with a guard. Let's get it implemented, guys. Come on. Can't be that hard. Door shut, slight pause, buzz, buzz. Not quite going for notch four yet. King's Norton, next stop. Go on, full steam ahead. Oh! Is it just a random one? Have we got a speed change? 0 0.7 miles, right, okay. Yeah, let's get a little bit of braking in for that. Alright, shouldn't we have this break? Or this level of breaking, should I say? Yeah, the other thing with Trains and World is, on occasions it feels a little bit empty. You know, like, we've got the sidings over there. I don't know what's meant to be in there. Maybe they are empty, maybe they're all abandoned. I don't think they are. But, uh, yeah, the, it just feels like there should be things parked there, doesn't it?
heck, how on earth are you meant to arrive on time? Surely there was no way we could have accelerated faster down there. Stop at the S car board there. Doors are open. Put it in neutral. If we put the window up, is there a difference in sound? Do we notice? What's happening with the brake? It's just do, 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 do. A lot of very uh, kind of random stuff happening with this, isn't there? Right, there we go. Lock those doors. Wonder if you can play as a guard if all this works. Ooh, Bourneville. I like it there. We've been there before. Ooh, not quite accepting full power yet. Oh, another 323. Three. Hello? That does look good, and look how it's kicking. Oh, hang on. Yeah, what, what? I like the idea of it kicking up the snow as it goes, but that, that wasn't particularly brilliant. <laughs> the fact that it's still kicking up the snow after the train's gone. Uh, it, but it, it kind of does it in patches. That Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not, guys. I like what you've tried to do, but I, I don't think it's been done particularly well. I'd rather not have the feature than, uh, than it look like that. Off we go. Bourneville, 800 yards away, so maybe I should think about braking at some point. Oh, come on, we've got to get to 60, haven't we? We're running late, for goodness sake. There we go. 60. There we go, bit of braking now, that'll do. Oh no, we're going to overshoot. Oh, we're going to slide through Bourneville here. Yep, yeah, this is my stupid need to... To, to get to 60. Right, well, let's see if we can actually stop, like, with a bit of us on the platform. Are we, are we just, yeah, I think Bonville's a bit of a write-off. Yeah, this is, this is a semi-express service now. We're, uh, yeah, we're back off. Oh. Why none of the traction motors? Oh, they're back again. Yeah, sorry, guys, Bonville's a write-off, but, uh, you didn't want to go there anyway. Oh well, yeah, control have rung and said, can you take it out of the timetable? We had a not to stop order. I wonder at what point it cuts off and realises. I mean, it's just gaining yards in the top left. At what point does that think, actually, yeah, that they're not stopping at Bourneville? Does it give you a, like, yeah, you've missed the station? Do you get that? No entrancing world, I reckon it'll just flash up and go, you've failed the scenario. Problem is now is I am driving completely blind. I don't know when the next station is, because... Are you, are you not skipping it? There we go, we'll, we'll just plod along at this speed. This is a comfortable speed. What's this? This is a station. What's this? Selly Oak? I know it's not university. University is a curved platform. Uh, yes, yeah, Selly Oak. Lovely. Very, very busy. Which is a bit odd, because it's not busy on the train, is it? Here we are, everybody. Selly Oak. 
Passengers for Bourneville, please change here. There we go. Half expect someone to go down to us and, uh, and start yelling at us at the window. Yeah, so, okay, so if you miss a station, you basically, in, a, in effect, just fail the scenario. Because, I mean, there's there's nothing... It doesn't just miss. If we if we go to the, the, the schedule, you can't skip it, can you? Yeah. You said train. Stop in location. Oh, what's, what's this? Let's set power handle, neutral, pan down, aux... Oh, was something actually meant to... Was the train meant to break there or something? Is that why? And the train's not broken because we've not stopped. Right, so it's given us a load of things on how to reset the train. There we go, we'll, we'll reset that now. Close the doors, off we go. Stand clear. Off we go. Yeah, I don't know where the next station is now, which is a little bit disappointing. Because I don't know this route at all. But uh, yeah, let's let's go to speed. Oh, we missed out on the purple station as well at Bourneville. Oh, of all the stations to miss. Yeah, I think when we got to Bourneville, like I said, because it had in the instructions there, like to drop the pan, put it back up again. Yeah, we've, we've missed a whole bit of this scenario now, for crying out loud. Like the best bit where we actually did something other than just drive the train. There we go, we'll just go to 50. I know it's 60, but uh, I think 50 is a more acceptable speed. Oh, we've walked along here. Along the canal. The little towpath. Oh, hang on, we're not stopping here either, are we? Maybe we are. This is university. I can't not stop at university. My other half will kill me. I went to university here. The sanding button seems to have absolutely no effect whatsoever on, <laughs> on whether you actually stop or not. That's why we were doing 50 and not 60, you see. Yeah, look at that. Right, there we go. Can we have another, another nice little picture there? Look at that. Does look good at university there, doesn't it? Oh, it's a very pretty game. I know that I uh, I often moan about Train Sim World and things like that, but uh, but no, it is very pretty. All right, off we go. Oh, hang on. There we go, we can go now. Oh, there's no guards panel up there, is there? So these are the panels on the walls here, I see. Right, where are we next? Five ways, is it, after this? Oh, and it was going so well as well. It all went wrong due to my insatiable need to behave like a child. Alright, let's have a look. This is why drivers should uh, should sign routes, everybody. You know, people say, oh, it's not that hard being a train driver. Well, actually, there's a lot to learn. I mean, I'm, I'm just driving this blind down here. I know there's a five-way stop at some point between here and uh, here and Birmingham. Can't for the life of me think where. I just have a horrible feeling we're just going to come around a corner and there it'll be. There's people watching this now that have actually that know this route inside out, upside down, and like, Joe, you should be braking now. Should be braking. Come on. I don't know. Well, we've got a forty mile an hour. Coming up, so we'll break for that. How's that sound? There we go, we'll, we'll do 40. Beep. 
Ah, the big wall, five ways, is round here somewhere. Or maybe not. Blasted by snow. Oh, I love it. It's nice driving in the snow. It's not nice when you want to actually stop somewhere. You just go sliding through. That's more of an autumn thing, though, surely. There we go, 40 mile an hour. Oh, there we go, station. Oh, no, it's not a st Well, that's not a station, but this is a station. There we go. Think, is this Five Ways? It's one of the only stations on this route. Five Ways University, Bourneville. They're, they're the stations I know. Can we just get back from the platform edge, please? They, they have this obsession with putting passengers right on the platform edge. I think the boundary marker should be where the, you know, for where they just free roam. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. I know we've gone a little bit past, haven't we, but it's fine. We're on the platform. Maybe not the bit of platform we should be on, but we're still on the platform. There we go, we'll wait till about... Are we still getting on, getting off? What was the crack here? Oh, hang on. Leaning on the horn. That'll do. None of you lot seem to be making any progress towards getting on the train. Busy, isn't it? Really busy. The guards that work down here must really have their work cut out. Right, hang on. So, we're going up to 40. The speed limit does drop further down here. Ah, yes, of course. Not to forget we're going downhill into Birmingham. Yeah. There we go. Let's have a bit of braking for the 20 zone and also a red signal. May as well just sit at 20 then, aren't we? Hopefully the red signal will clear. Unless it's another approach control. Let's try. Contact the signaller. Proceed as signals indicate. The signal says stop. So... So we stop, yeah? I mean, I'd rather he just said no. Yeah, last time it said denied, whereas this just says proceed as signals indicate. Right, let's let's have a little look. What have we got in here? Oh, it's dark. Ah, Birmingham. I'm not convinced we're gonna get to Birmingham. What on earth is the 66 doing in there? Oh, there's a there's a train in front of us. Right, okay, so that'll be why we can't go. Because there's a train in front of us. Sensible. Yellow. Off we go. Platform 8 we're going into. Lovely. So yeah, the, the dark tunnels just before Birmingham. God, blimey, it is dark as well, isn't it? There's a, an odd red reflection here. I don't know what that is. Is oh, is that the GSMR? I thought it were like tail lights or something. I don't know why that's reflecting there. Shouldn't be. Oh, I got ten. I thought we were going a little bit fast for Birmingham. Yeah, there's a lot of sections on this route, isn't there, where it's it's just chronically slow, and it doesn't necessarily have to be. You could get around here at twenty easily. 
Well, here we are, folks. Birmingham New Streets, where this train's going to terminate. I don't think the scenario's going to terminate, us, to be perfectly honest with you, but, uh, you know, it still wants us to stop at Bourneville. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, that's my fault. Next time, we might actually drive this and have a, a decent, you know, a decent drive where we don't have any problems. Uh, but, yeah, Birmingham New Street. Not an expert on this station, but, yeah, it, it does seem as we're coming in quite bright. I have read a lot of people have complained the, the brightness the station lighting is very bright uh, when I was at Birmingham uh, it was very dingy very dark and dingy and kind of miserable I think that on trains and classic they really did capture Birmingham quite well uh, not to say that the station models not accurate I mean it, it seems fairly it's got the, the kind of embossed numbers on the platforms I like that that's very good very good but yeah it just seems a little bit on the bright side I kind of feel like I'm in a different country, you know, the, with their bright, appealing station. That's not how we do it in this country. We do dark and dingy. Hey, dearie me. Well, there we go. That is the Cross City Line for uh, Train Sim World 3. Let me know what you think. As I say, there's a link in the description. You can go and check this out. It's £29.99. You might get it on a Steam sale. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought to the video in the comments. And uh, do leave a like if you have enjoyed the video. It always uh, it helps me do a little bit better. Mm. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, we need a screenshot of that, don't we? Fantastic. Yeah, hopefully. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.